Welcome to the RTX 64 Network Overview. In this video, we discuss the various components of the real-time network, highlighting the network abstraction layer, real-time drivers, RTTCP IP stack and virtual network. RTX64 provides real-time processing and networking capability through a network abstraction layer and an optional RT-TCP-IP protocol stack within the RTSS environment. Here you can see how the real-time network components communicate within the RTSS environment as compared with the Windows environment. The network abstraction layer, NAL for short, and the optional RTTCPIP stack sit above the RTX64 subsystem. The NAL, the real-time NIC drivers loaded by the NAL, and the RTTCPIP stack are always installed with the RTX64 runtime. You can control and configure these network components through the Windows Device Manager and the RTX64 control panel. Check the Interval Zero video library for related videos that take a closer look at network configuration. Interval Zero developed the network abstraction layer to offer a more accessible Ethernet Layer 2 interface, which allows real time applications to bypass the TCP IP stack. It was previously available as a separate standalone component, but is integrated with the product as of RTX 64 4.0. The RTX64 NAL abstracts the network hardware and driver functions from the upper-level protocol stacks and provides management interfaces for those upper layers to easily query for and use available network assets. It is a separate protocol layer from the RTTCPIP stack. Using the NAL you can more easily take advantage of network functionality in Layer 2 protocols not available through traditional TCPIP such as EtherCAT, time-sensitive networks and precision time protocol. As of RTX 64 4.0, NIC drivers have been re-architected and are now loaded by the NAL. NIC drivers are responsible for handling device-specific configuration and resources. They use multiple threads per network interface to accomplish their tasks. The processor and priority of each thread can be set independently. For an up-to-date list of driver and supported devices, see the RTX64 supported NICS document available at www.intervalzero.com. NIC driver source is provided as part of the SDK to allow developers to make customizations and add new hardware support. RTX64 provides an optional RTTCPIP protocol stack. It communicates with the NAL, which accesses the physical network card via a real-time network device driver loaded by the NAL and running in the real-time subsystem. The RTTCPIP stack sits above the NAL. It's a NAL client and requires the NAL in order to run. The RTTCPIP stack consists of an internal buffer management system, timer system and, when running, uses multiple threads to accomplish its tasks. The processor and priority of each stack thread can be set independently. The timer system of the RTTCPIP stack uses a stack internal timer thread to handle all TCPIP time related functions. Note that while NIC drivers are now loaded by the NAL, filter drivers still reside in the RTTCPIP stack. Like the NAL, the RTTCPIP stack is always installed with a runtime, but the stack requires a separate license. Once licensed, you can configure the TCPIP stack in the RTX64 control panel and use APIs such as RTFW get TCPIP status to determine whether it is running. The RTX64 virtual network provides a virtual point-to-point -point connection between Windows and RTX64 that emulates the local area network connection between Windows and the real-time subsystem. It allows developers the flexibility to use socket communication between processes on the same system with no additional hardware. The virtual network also allows for easy porting of multiple system applications to run on one system with no code changes. The runtime installs an interface for the virtual network called RTTCPIP Virtual NIC, which is accessible in the Manage Interfaces page in the RTX64 control panel. 
This interface is dependent on the RTTCPIP stack. It is disabled by default and when the stack is not licensed. Check the Interval Zero video library for network related videos that take a closer look at this. This concludes our RTX64 network overview. For more information, see the documentation installed with the product and available online, and check out our other product videos available from intervalzero.com and YouTube. Thanks for watching!